Pharmaceutical company Moderna says it's working on a new flu vaccine and potentially a mega shot for some seasonal respiratory viruses. It would be an mRNA vaccine. That's the same technology behind the COVID-19 vaccine. Elisa sat down with an mRNA vaccine researcher at Oregon State University to put this news in perspective. Elise. Good morning, Ken and Jenny. So first and foremost, with Moderna already starting their early phase trials for this mRNA flu vaccine, the OSU associate professor says this just shows how quickly this new technology can be transferred to other infectious diseases and beyond. He actually likened the, basically the old way, and we have been making the flu vaccine, which is actually in chicken eggs, extremely cumbersome and slow, to then moving to this mRNA technology with test tubes only, like moving Moving from the Renaissance to the Industrial Revolution. The big picture is that these technologies would be more and more in use. Um, they'll be safe, efficacious. You know, sometimes the flu shot was, you know, 30 or 40 percent efficacious based on the strain. Um, these would hopefully be more efficacious and can, you know, rapidly move in eradicating all these other viruses as well so the field is just like you know escalating and a lot of great things can happen because of that too so on top of tackling the flu and upper respiratory infections that come around every year he says the mrna technology can be used to really transform our lives and eradicate disease as well as rare genetic disorders. He says certain things underway that are being researched right now is cystic fibrosis, HIV, and cancer. And I can't even imagine a world where we could tackle those things that we've been trying to basically help people for so long. So if there was a silver lining in all of this pandemic, Ken and Jenny, the OSU professor was basically saying that it was that this technology is now helping tackle all of these other illnesses um, that we haven't been able to really figure out. And now the world has really developed the infrastructure in order to do it, whereas it just didn't exist before. Reporting live, Elise Haas, Coin 6 News. Very interesting. Okay, thanks, Elise.